What is YouTube? Your boy can be here. I want to teach you guys how to not get to DMC aid on your Twitch vods or even getting copyright on your YouTube on alerts and you know music on the stream. I have music on my stream all the time. I you know I have alerts with music on it in subs you know sub alerts, follow alerts and stuff like that. Where you know when you want to go put the vod or clip it and put a video on YouTube, it gets copyrighted or even on Twitch it get DMC aid. I figured out a way was well, OBS put out a way to do it. And, you know, I'm using that way. Some people don't even know about that way on OBS. I don't know about Streamlabs OBS. I just know about regular OBS. So I don't know if they have that setting in Streamlabs OBS. I may can try it and see if you guys, I just don't want to mess up, mess up my stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go into it real quick. First, first of all, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button. If you're brand new to the channel and see some more for your boy, hit that like button right now for this video. I help, I'm going to help you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to bring it over for y'all. In the record, I got, you know, I got Kendrick Lamar in the background so you can see I got music, I have music playing. But right now, I'm going to play some music and you will see it down here start playing and you won't hear it at all. See, music is playing. You won't see it. I mean, you can't hear it all at all, but I have it playing. But if I was streaming right now, the stream would be able to hear that music. So I'm going to show you. It's like I say, I have it on recording too, so you can't hear the music. So, like I said, for YouTube purposes, but you see it's playing over here. It's playing over here. So I'm going to pause the music. So, like I said, you couldn't hear it. So I'm going to go back into OBS. What you need to do is go into your settings. It's going to look real weird, but I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, you should be able to see this. You can make a big screen, so it's going to look weird for you. So, you want to go to output. You want to go to Twitch VOD track. You want to uh, have that checked. I can't check it right now because I'm streaming. I mean, I'm recording. You want to check it, and then you want to pick a track. Don't pick number one because that's usually your stream track. You want to pick number two, three, four, five, or six. And I picked number four for my Twitch VOD track because I just, you know, just separating for the most. Then on my recording, I have the same thing. I have audio track selected, and that's number five. So I'm going to show you in a minute what that means. So, you know, you got your audio preferences, all stuff right here. You know, when you uh, just set up your stream, I'm gonna exit out of this, you can see all my stuff again. You want to go to the gear here. It's a gear here. I think you can go up here too. Is it up here? I never went up here, so I don't know anything about it up here. But uh, it's, yeah, it's right here. Advanced audio properties. You can go up here or you can right click here and go advanced audio properties. And it's going to bring up this screen here. I know it's going to be looking real weird. I'm trying to make sure it's, it looks, it's not going to look good. I know it's not going to look good. Oh, oh. all right. So I'm going to bring this off since y'all seen y'all, y'all seen it. So here you go. Advanced audio properties. I told you I had, I had number four checked for the Twitch VOD and had number five. Un yeah, had five checked. Four checked for Twitch VOD and five checked for my recording. So if I go to my, these are all my audio sources. You got a browser source, I have a party source, I have audio source, my desktop, Elgato Cam, Elgato mic, and music. So I got my party for, you know, party chat. My desktop audio is for my alerts or, you know, sub alerts, follow alerts, any kind of host or stuff like that, raids and all that. That's under desktop audio. Even when I play stuff on YouTube or something, it's under desktop audio. So you won't get that copyright infringement. Oh, sure. Excellent. End it. Exit it. So I won't get caught, caught with copyright infringement. Now, you know, I can also, you know, turn it on and re be able to record it, but I don't want to record it. And same for music. Anytime I play music, it won't be played on for you guys that you're listening to right now. I have right here. You go to every one of these have a track. You can have these all. You can have these all separate if you want to. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, for recordings purposes, you can, you know, have them all separated and delete one if you don't want to. Like, oh, I don't want the party chat in my in my VOD. I mean, not my VOD, but when I go record, uh, make a make a montage or make a clip, I can delete the party chat. So if they speak, you know, it's obscene language or anything, you can get that out. It's just you or, you know, just a, a, a you know, some for YouTube. But you can just have it like I have it. I just have my desktop audio, which is alerts, unchecked, music, unchecked. So every time I play music, it will play on stream, but not for the VOD. 
I don't know how they do it, but they figured out a way to do it. And this is the way to do it. I haven't got DMCA once. I'm going to show you all my, uh, give me a second real quick. I'm going to show you guys my uh, thing. Like, I play music all the time on my stream. And I've not yet once seen a DMCA thing. I can see I uh, go to my, I think my insights, analytics. I don't remember where, where is it at. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, go to my clips. And it says, copyrights on your channel. You have zero copyright strikes on your channel. Accumulate three copyright strikes. You may be terminated. So I've never got any, I haven't got any kind of notification. I haven't, you know, none of my VODs have been muted because I'm muting it myself. You understand what I'm saying? So just want to show you guys that. I mean, if you have any questions, let, you know, let me know in the comments. But this is pretty easy, you know, pretty, pretty easy to understand. It says active sources only. You uncheck this. It's going to bring up the sources that, you know, you have inactive. But I don't care nothing about that. Like I said, you want to uncheck. So if you want to do track two, like I said, I want to do my Twitch VODs track two. You want to uncheck. Whatever your music has come out of, music, uncheck it. And then it won't be included in the VOD. Same with if you want you know, your alerts, because my alerts got music on them. Uncheck it, it won't be included in the VOD. And then, like I said, it's in my recording too. So I got recording, so I uncheck number three. And then when I record, well, when it, I record, I record and stream at the same time. So no matter what, when I hit the record button, and when I hit the stream button, I have both of these. Oh, okay, you can't see. Put my camera off. When I record, I mean, when I stream, I hit both of these, both of these at the same time. So I have a good VOD. I don't have a good VOD, but you know, I record every stream I do. So it's higher quality than what I stream at. Yeah, so it's higher quality than what I stream at. Because streaming is only 6,000 bit rate. I record at like 20,000 bit rate. So it's higher quality. I mean, if you want to do that, you can do that. But so then when I go and make it a video for YouTube or if it's a gameplay video, you can, you know, it have no music on it. Followers pop up. There's no music on it. I mean, you you seen what I just did? Like, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you an alert. Show you guys an alert I got. I'll go to my uh, just chatting. I just chatting. All right. Hit this one. All right, here we go. Here we go. So you see the music playing? But you can't hear none. I'm hearing it though. And that's my example because. Every time I do this, is not what I'm working. So I said, you can't hear that music, but I heard it all. It's on my recording. It's not on my recording, but it's on my stream. It's on my, it's on my stream and on my Twitch vibe. Like I said, if it, this helped you anyway, I know I'm, I'm dragging it out. I'm trying to do what I can. I know there's gonna be a lot of questions. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna try to help as best way I can, but I think this video explains what you need to know. Let's do what I said. You shouldn't get any complaints. Like I said, I don't know how Twitch do it, but I haven't got any complaints yet. And I play all kinds of music. I play Kendrick. I play all kinds of music in my little, you know, collection here on Spotify. So it works for me. If you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button if you uh, like this video. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of this new thing? I mean, it's not really new, but if you don't know nothing about it, if I helped you out anyway, hit that comment. I mean, just put some put something down below for your boy. Boy, QB, I'm signing out. Peace.